Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm actually coming from the Brain Injury Research Center. And as you can guess, our mission is to understand and improve and optimize the health and well-being of individuals who've lived with um, traumatic brain injury. And in our lab, we have various studies that uh, are undergoing. And the one that we're most interested in sharing with everyone today involves technology, obviously. And we're interested in learning more about how we can advance this technology to reach more people but in, and, and maximize um, their lives. So many of you probably understand that traumatic brain injury can affect cognition, attention, memory, concentration, all of those domains of thinking abilities that we take for granted each day. Many of you might not understand that um, executive dysfunction is something that also com commonly occurs. And that can not only be linked to impulsivity, self-monitoring, but also emotional dysregulation. So that ability to monitor and adapt and respond to your emotions, to different triggers in the world. And in our lab, what we're doing now is we have an intervention that we've developed that targets emotion regulation and helps people take their emotions from here to here so that it makes it more manageable. But also, when you think about becoming too emotionally intense, it's hard to really think and problem solve. So it's bringing people into a regulated zone. That way, they can interact with the world in the way that's intended they want it to. So our, our intervention, um, our, its humble roots are in the basement over at 5 East 98th Street, where we started out with what we call the STEP program, which is the short-term executive plus. So we aimed to um, provide a day program with problem-solving skills and emotion regulation skills. This then developed to in-person groups only aiming at emotion regulation as we've listened to the individuals living with brain injury and the concerns. And emotional problems are what they were primarily complaining of. It interferes not only with their work, their, their relationships, but even just going on about their day-to-day -day lives. Where we are right now is we've developed an online emotion regula uh, regulation program. So we've taken uh, each iteration of these and we put it into an online platform where we have a group therapy and, and we offer that through Zoom or GoToMeeting, some sort of online platform and provide in per, uh, uh, group therapy. And what we want to do now, this is what's in progress, a randomized controlled trial to ensure that we can disseminate an intervention that we know that works. But we want to advance it. We want to know more. We want to understand emotion regulation better. And we want to maximize um, in everyone's ability to manage their emotions. So what we're hoping to do in the future, and with the brilliant minds in this room, come up with ideas of how we can maximize interventions to target emotion regulation. One of the things that we've come up with, <laughs> which might not be outside the box too much, are phone apps that we can also give to our participants that can allow for constant reminders to monitor emotions. Because part of emotion regulation is awareness. And if you're not aware of your emotions, you can't do anything about it. Another is to have access to education training videos. As I've mentioned before, some of the common difficulties um, following traumatic brain injury are attention, concentration, memory. And if you don't remember to do your homework or practice your emotion regulation skills, how are you going to use those in real life? We've also dabbled in the area of voice recognition and emotion um, recognition. So having technology in the group therapy sessions recognize tone, vocabulary, um, just language-based um, approach to understanding the match between emotions and language and get a better understanding of how people are feeling and if they're in sync with their emotions. Um, but of course, and we would love for you to put your minds together to come up with any ideas that could be helpful in disseminating interventions to people who have limited access. Um, so thank you so much.